Okay, so to construct this where, we need a for each loop. So we saw an example of a for each loop back in index.php when we loop through each error. So if you didn't understand the purpose of that, you will understand why we do this um, when, when I write it out here. So I'm going to say for each keywords as, and I'm going to make it look a bit different this time. I'm going to say key, and then I'm going to say an equals, and then a greater than sign, key, and then we're going to keep call each keyword keyword. So we're notice the difference between keyword as key keyword. And what we're essentially doing there is getting the key from the database, which would be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And keyword would be the that keyword associated with that key. So I guess if you like, this means associated with this. So we're now returning uh, the key and the keyword. And we can use key to see if the it matches total keywords, in which case we don't need to add an extra and onto the end of our uh, query. So you'll understand this a bit better on when we go through it. So I'm going to say where dot equals. Now this means append onto where. Because we're in a loop, this is going to constantly append to a string. Okay, And this is going to be keywords like and then we need, oh sorry, we need to specify like we showed earlier um, and what do we put in here? We put keyword, okay? So the keyword is now being put into here as I demonstrated earlier and we're searching the keywords field. Now you'll notice that I've put uh, some um, percentage signs and what this means is if I was to just put um, that for example, this means return um, the result depending on where the keyword is well we're, we're okay let me re-explain we're essentially searching keywords for this keyword okay which might be flash or might be pro um, in this case it's keyword because we're taking it from the array um, this would search from the left hand side this would search from the right hand side and this would search from both sides okay so uh, have a look at the like um, part of SQL statements in on the MySQL, the you know PHP website, or wherever you might find the resource, and uh, make sure you understand this because you need to know that this searches from both sides and matches results. Okay, so now what we want to do is come down, and we actually want to create a check, and we want to say if key doesn't equal um, the total keywords, and this needs to be taking one off of the total keywords and the reason for this is that we um, obviously in arrays we use zero we start from zero however if we were to type flash in for example the total keywords would be one but flash would be in key zero so we need to take one off of this value in order for it to match so hopefully that makes sense to you um, and if uh, the key doesn't equal we're gonna say where dot equals two spaces and in the middle of that and okay so this essentially adds and in where we're not at the end of our query okay so if you don't understand this we're now going to echo out where okay so you can see how it's formed okay so you can see what this code actually does so let's go ahead and type in flash oh flash search keywords like and then we've got flash in there so we've taken the first keyword and put it in there however what happens if we're searching for flash pro we're obviously going to lengthen this like the demonstration I gave you earlier if I click search you can now see it says keywords like flash and keywords like pro so just from this we've dynamically constructed a part of our query okay so we want to obviously put this where clause into a query itself okay so what we want to do is we want to create a new um, SQL query and I'm going to create a, um, a string called results and this is going to be select title description URL from articles so we're selecting these three fields from the table called articles which is if we go over to our database articles so we're selecting from there and then we're going to say where where normally you'd say something equals 
something, we're actually going to be substituting in our where. Okay, so now what we can do um, is we can come down and echo out results. And whenever we type in something in here, like Flash Pro, we actually get an SQL statement, which we can, or an SQL query, which we can echo out, uh, sorry, run using the MySQL query function, and we can return a list of results. So we're dynamically creating a query. Okay, so it's simple as that. Um, the other thing we need to bear in mind is that the description, remember, I had at a certain length and it was shortened. So we need to do something a bit different when we're selecting description in this case. So I'm going to be using the left function in uh, MySQL and I'm going to be selecting description, comma, uh, let's go for 70 as description. Okay, so what we're doing is we're using the function left to return from the start of description 70 characters onwards. So it'll only select the first 70 characters of description and that's as description. Okay, this part here is really important as this left function doesn't actually return the result we, as a name, we need to say return as description. Okay, so uh, that won't affect our query. Um, the running of it however what it'll only do is select the first 70 characters of description okay so now what we need to do is we need to calculate how many results we've returned so results num equals so we're creating a new SQL query and um, we're going to be creating a um, an if essentially an if statement but it's not it's a shortened version of an if statement so in brackets is our condition we then have a question mark for the first if something equals something so if this condition is true and then we have a comma um, for values in here so if this doesn't make sense it will all pull together in a minute and you'll understand the workings and structure of this if you haven't already come across of it so we're going to say for the condition results equals mysql query results so we're actually setting a variable inside of a condition which you can do with PHP so we're creating a new variable called results which is the result of a MySQL query and this string here oh sorry didn't mean to, didn't mean to delete that so we're querying um, we're create well we're essentially running a query of this okay 